Good evening. My name is Dr. Christopher Lester. I use pronouns he, him, and his. I am the director of the Office of Multi-Ethnic Student Education at the University of Maryland. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Academy of Academic Excellence Awards Ceremony in recognition of our outstanding multi-ethnic students for their persistent academic excellence. There are 4,500 students we recognize this year for maintaining a cumulative 3.5 GPA or higher throughout their academic journey at the University of Maryland. OMSI is also honoring seven outstanding medal recipients. I first wanna recognize the OMSI team. The OMSI team goes well beyond all expectations and a normal work schedule to ensure the ongoing personal, academic, and professional excellence of our students. The mission of OMSI is to increase the rates of matriculation, retention, graduation, and overall GPA for multi-ethnic students at the University of Maryland. The Academy of Academic Excellence Award Ceremony is our biggest event of the year. We know how dedicated and committed our students are to their courses, studying, as well as engaging in extracurricular activities and professional engagements. We are thankful for the service and tremendous efforts of our medal recipients who have demonstrated unwavering commitment to multi-ethnic students at the University of Maryland. You continue to facilitate student outcomes that many naysayers see as impossible. You should be proud of your service and recognition today. Our work in OMSI is centered on the premise that all of our students are outstanding, resourceful, highly capable, and highly intellectual with the wherewithal to achieve at the highest level of personal, academic, and professional excellence. The past year was quite challenging in many ways for our students, the University of Maryland, and the global community. Our students experienced a global pandemic that contributed to isolation, social disconnection, family disruptions, online courses, social and racial justice protests, political upheaval, and a presidential election. In spite of the personal, academic, and societal challenges, our students have demonstrated resilience, strength, and a fierce determination to excel and do excel in all areas of the University of Maryland community. We see what is possible in OMSI when our students use tutoring and improve their GPAs, rise above all other students globally and receive the top research and internship opportunities, travel abroad, lead organizations, and graduate with top tier graduate school and career opportunities. OMSI will continue to be a resource and support our students to weather any storm in all personal, academic, and professional endeavors. I finally want to express appreciation and gratitude to the partners, parents, caretakers, and friends of our honorees. We know you have contributed time, energy, finances, a few tears, and enormous effort in supporting our honorees. We will continue to do our best to ensure the honorees are provided the support and resources that can enable them to excel in all areas of the University of Maryland, in line with OMSI's mission and model of high standards, high expectations, and excellence. I'm honored to be here with you in celebration of these outstanding honorees. Thank you. I would like to thank the Office of Multi-Ethnic Student Education for this award. I also would like to thank the awards committee for nominating me from the College of Journalism. 
I believe they highlighted several uh, areas that were important to me in their nomination. Number one, we had housekeepers that worked in our building that were having a problem enrolling in the wellness program one, one open enrollment period. I asked one of our bilingual students if he would assist me and we set up a classroom and made space available to them to come in and ask their questions so they could be enrolled. I think we successfully enrolled about 15 housekeepers that day. Secondly, I reached out to students of color and LGBTQ students and let them know that my office was a safe space for them. I'm an Air Force veteran and I'm also a lesbian and I served during the don't ask, don't tell time period. Um, I vowed then, once I was discharged honorably, that I would never ever lie and I would assist anybody that I could if they were questioning or if they felt that they were being discriminated against. Um, students knew that if they needed money for books or they needed money for food or just assistance if they felt discriminated against or something, just to come to my office, just to talk, and we would figure out a solution. I'm hoping that some of those students have pay, are paying it forward um, and doing some of the same things for people that they may encounter. And lastly, we set up a system uh, during the summer where we helped uh, high school students get credit for graduation or get experience as their first time jobs. So hopefully I've made a difference. I feel very um, humbled by this award and thank you. Hello, my name is Jonathan. I'm the recipient of the OMSI Mentor Category Award. I would like to thank my nominator, Bader Carche, for taking the time to nominate me for this important award. I would also like to thank the awards committee for choosing me from what I'm sure was a very qualified pool of applicants. As a TA, especially as a person of color, I am aware of the uniqueness of someone in my position and have tried to be as welcoming and open with the students in order to foster trust. In order to do this, I try to be as open as possible and invite students who are struggling to come to my office hours to go over their issue. And as of last semester, I was able to have a number of students who consistently came and I was able to help them go over material, previous assignments, and address general issues with the course. And later on, we were able to create study guides and other resources to help review material. And I talked to some of them, especially uh, people of color who came to my office hours, about the possibility of becoming TAs in the future. I would like to continue with these methods and hopefully see some of these students becoming colleagues as fellow TAs in the future to increase the diversity of our staff. Thank you again for the award and for your time. Hi everyone, my name is Maoqin Wang. I'm a second year doctoral student of the International Education Policy Program and I work in the OMC tutorial program as the graduate assistant and the tutor. I am extremely honored to be receiving the Academic Excellency Award. I'm very grateful for the recognition I have received for my work because I'm very sure that all our OMC tutors are not only very capable, but also very passionate about serving the diverse student body in UMD College Park. I have been working as a tutor and a graduate assistant of the OMC tutorial program for almost two years now. I deeply appreciate OMC's mission in helping multi ethnic students achieve academic excellence against the bias and obstacles shaped by history. I have amazing experience working in the tutorial program. It gives me great satisfaction to tutor students and to help them solve problems they encounter in class. And tutoring student also becomes a great way for me to learn and to grow. This past year, we have faced many challenges due to the COVID-19 crisis. This dramatic change posed so many challenges to our UMD communities, especially our undergraduate students. Despite all the difficulties we're facing during this time, our OMC tutorial team stands with our UMD communities and puts great efforts in providing academic support to our students 
the launching of our first online tutoring program in a very short time. I am deeply proud of my tutorial program team. This award would not have been possible without the inspiration I have received from my seniors and my colleagues for whom I have the deepest respect and from whom I have derived the strength to challenge myself and perform better at each stage. I sincerely thank each one of you, especially Ms. Mo, for helping me grow along the way. I feel so lucky to be able to work with someone so passionate and so caring like Ms. Mo. I look forward to continuing my amazing experience working with OMC and our students. Hi everyone, I'm humbled and I feel extremely honored to be presented with the 2021 OMZ Excellence in Service Award for Astounding Tutor. Um, I feel very lucky to be working with an amazing team who makes working as a tutor exciting and challenging. My special thanks goes to Dr. Lester and Mrs. Mo for their amazing leadership and also the tireless effort in ensuring that we have a successful tutorial program and also for constantly evaluating the services that we offer so that they consistently meet the needs of the student that we serve as part of OMZ Bigger mission in enhancing academic performance of undergraduate students of color throughout the university. This accomplishment is not something I did alone. So I would also like to thank the amazing tutorial team and also the rest of the OMZ family for their continuous support. I hope to continue to do my best and to continue to serve in excellence as we collectively uh, provide quality tutoring services to all students on campus. Thank you so much for this award. I'm very grateful. Hello. I am honored to be the recipient of the 2021 OMSI Excellence in Service Award for Outstanding Faculty Member. It is quite humbling to be recognized for work that I love. Thank you to my nominators and please know this recognition will fuel me to be deserving of this honor. The reasons I became a faculty member were so that other brown and black women and other students could look to a teacher in the classroom and see someone that looked like them. This was transformational when it happened to me when I was a student at, right here at UMD. And two, I became a fac faculty member to document and amplify the voices of the people and issues in higher education has marginalized, such as racism, genderism, heterosexism, and all of the isms that continue to oppress. If this award is any recognition that I have stayed true to who I am and to why I became a faculty member, and I am overjoyed beyond belief to accept it because some 20 years later, providing possibility models and dismantling white supremacy, patriarchy, and inequity are my driving forces. Thank you. Greetings, uh, my name is Dr. Shaylin Blanchard, a senior staff therapist in the Counseling Center, and I would just like to extend my gratitude and privilege of being with you um, for this experience of the Office of Multi-Ethnic Student Education Academic Excellence Award Ceremony. 
First, I'd like to just acknowledge all of the students um, and staff for all of their hard work um, that they've been doing here at the University of Maryland, and also would like to extend a congratulations to all of the recipients of um, honors and recognition uh, for the ceremony. Finally, I'd like to thank Dr. Lester, uh, the nomination committee, um, the University Partners Program, as well as the entire staff within OMSI uh, for this um, wonderful recognition and award of the Director's Medal. Um, it has been such a pleasure to partner with OMSI on behalf of the Counseling Center, um, doing the good work, doing the necessary work, uh, doing the important work for not just students' academic wellness, um, but as well as their personal and professional wellness and development um, as well. So thank you again for this recognition, and I look so much forward to the continued partnership uh, that the Counseling Center and OMSI has uh, to continuing in that, again, necessary and good work for uh, students' academic as well as personal and professional wellness.